I need is to get the sum total of all your student debt and how much I cost the government coming into recovery, and we'd be able to do that. <laughs> That's what that means. My name is Bill. I'm a person in long-term recovery. What that means is that I was out there for 50 years. What that means is that I have an extensive criminal history spanning four decades. That means I have an addiction history spanning a little more than four decades. So, you know, you know what I mean. So, what that means is that I represent another culture. So, as we sit here and we advocate for cultures, I encourage you to understand that there is a subculture. I encourage you to understand that for 50 years of my life, I despised you. For 50 years of my life, I thought you were my enemy, and I thought every policeman was my enemy as well. Even though I had never had a conversation with you or with a policeman. Now, you were saying, well, he must have really had a disability. There was a lot of communication, but it wasn't a conversation. I've ridden in a lot of police cars. I've ridden in trunks, under them, and on hoods. You do the math for yourself. But I never went anywhere other than to jail. And that didn't work. When I came out of jail, I was a greater criminal, greater felon, greater whatever than I was before I left. No part of that experience made me feel like I needed to change. I thought I just needed to upgrade my ability to be deceptive. I just needed to get something to fight back with. I just needed to hate bigger. I didn't need to change because I didn't know that change was possible. I wasn't um, diagnosed even though I realized that my diagnosis showed up when I was about seven years old. I remember being extremely sad and I thought that I was just sad because I grew up in an orphanage. I thought I was sad because I had been exited from the home. I thought I was sad because I didn't have brothers and sisters. I thought I was sad because I didn't have a mother. I thought I was sad because where I grew up was like being a little kid in prison. I thought I was sad because where I was at, if you couldn't fight, then you had to do a lot of other things. I thought I was sad because every place, everybody around me was sad. I didn't even know sad was a word. If you would have asked me was I happy, I would ask you were you a clown. I didn't know that there was another existence possible. I, I encourage you guys, but since we're here, I just want to say one thing. My name is Bill. I'm a person in long-term recovery. What does that mean? That means for me today, I'm living a miracle. That miracle that you have probably participated in the majority of your life because you were driven toward that miracle by the people that drove you toward what, you're, what you exist.